welcome, 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 welcome again, welcome, welcome again to Life with Jennifer J. M. And I am your girl, Auntie Jen. I own the doing, yes, 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 yes. Open the doing great. I open the doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open the doing great. Open the doing great. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Make we get into it now. We get into this, you know. I mean, now that's why it's a new one all over the place. And that Julian Robinson. Spokesperson and finance has come out and share that he's also a dual citizen. And that's another PNP member. Julian Robinson. Spokesman for Finance and the Country Potential Future Minister of Finance, Julian Robinson, has confirmed that he is a dual British Jamaican citizen. Mr. Robinson was born in the United Kingdom before migrating to Jamaica. He confirmed his status with Nationwide News in a phone conversation on Thursday evening. And I don't know why, but nationwide is on a campaign. What we want everybody in the parliament to do, this is just my opinion, and you can give your view. Well, now we know the PMP too. If any more on the PMP side that have dual citizens, I need you to come out and let the public know. Now, I realize that since this news about dual citizenship which is the Jamaica Labour Party started it knowing that it is of no merit according to the laws of Jamaica Jamaica is still a part of the British monarchy whether we want to like it or not but I realize that there's a set of people who never have no idea what Jamaica is about And to see the ruling party come out knowingly that even in their parliament they have people with dual citizen who is not even of the commonwealth and we're not here not upon it everybody keeps silent upon it but they are digging deeper for the for the um for the people's national party trying to see if we can bear some fruit of political mileage I don't know how far it will go until you change the constitution. It is what it is. They have a right to sit in the parliament. And those of you who follow me know I said it. I said it even with Matthew Samuda. It's not illegal in the parliament. It's because them taking it make a problem. Anybody can sit in the, pro the parliament as a commonwealth citizen living in Jamaica for over a period of 12 months. I don't know how much we can. But you know what? You have one set of people who are trying to tell the people the truth and then you have another set of people who twisting the truth into a lie and people are believing the lie and then who it is coming from it is coming from some people who you think should know better and do better but you have to understand it's a political season people are going to advocate the best they can for their party and it is such a shame that in this 21st century we still have this type of tribal attitude of politics plaguing our society in Jamaica. It is a shame and embarrassment to what is happening. And my viewers and my subscribers, I hope and trust that we can put this to rest. Then, if we want it to be so, what we need to do is to change the constitution and all those who are in the parliament must renounce or they cannot sit in the parliament. Why is it that now you are doing the reform and you won't put that in either? The Jamaica Labour Party don't put that in the new constitution that they are crafting enough. So what is it saying to us? We should even listen to any word coming from them. We should not listen to any word coming from them, my viewers and my subscribers. However, on the other hand, my people of Jamaica, I want you to understand that the society in which we live in is really and truly getting out of control 
it is getting out of control that we have no rights in our own country as a people. Now, this whole situation with Daryl Vaz and the share apps with the ride, share ride apps. These people come in Jamaica. I remember when they were talking about the Uber coming in. And now he's coming to say that they don't have an office in Jamaica. They don't operate with an office in Jamaica and they will have to have an office. So who give them the go ahead from the onset that they could come into our country operating but the head of it is not in Jamaica. Now I can understand the head is not in Jamaica. It's just like how you'd have telecommunications and all of these communications. They, they use Jamaica. If you call for most Caribbean island, you'll get the answer for customer care out of Jamaica. That's how they set it up. But you should have made it mandatory that there should be an office in Jamaica. Meaning that there's an office that operates that you can get to whoever you want to get you to. Now, we also look at another thing with Daryl Vaz. He's claiming that he as the minister make a request for the communication, the telecommunication, to disband the apps. And they don't do it. When there's no law for that, you can just tell communication, please. You think that when you did want Mark Golden information and you just get it? Well, telecommunication is making knowing that. In the monopoly, they didn't sign any agreement with you on that, sir. So now he's saying he's going to make a law. There's a law he's going to pass in Parliament to make it mandatory. That's them afraid of obey when they... You see, you see, this? you want to see where we are headed for? And they say, if you don't give them people one more chance, a dictatorship them around the country, you know. You can't just... It's a legal binding. You can't just get information from the pump, from the telecommunication like that. It's not picker where you have control over. Me just, me people, me just want to know if you look into where I'm on the ground, you know. I want to know if you see where I'm going, you know. I want to know if you see how them rise up against their opponent without any good merit. And for sure, they say, they don't really mean we're good. It's all about themselves. But me say, this man here, Vazim is very active. And social media very active. We don't know why motive. We don't know why they're behind it. But something now add up and we are looking for it to unfold. So my viewers and my subscribers, tell me what you think about this new revelation about Julian and the dual citizenship. I wanna tell me what you think about this madman and the telecommunication with my request and demand information to be done according to where him what him request and so be it now don't know as it request he want to go and make laws so that they have to listen I, I, I done manship the man when you look at it it's a done manship situation but tell me one thing and the conversation continues and i'm your girl auntie jen and i'll catch you next time bye